There's like probably three more genuine answers. I think one of them is that this pie is so big. Like there's there's so much data out there. Data Dog is an amazing product. Dan Fougere was a well is a really good sales leader. Um, he's not dead, but like Dan was like Dan did an amazing job with that team that he put together, right? And I think, um, but there's so much out there, and I think it's ridiculous to look at something and say, well, they have a great team and they have a great. They've done a really good job, so we just shouldn't go compete with them because data and requirements are changing way faster than especially big companies are able to. And so, like, was Grafana a bet? Absolutely. Um, but I think a big piece of it was just not being afraid to compete and believing that what Grafana was doing was different enough that there'd be a place for it. Did I think we were going to be a 1,000 people in four years? Absolutely not. If anyone ever hears me say that slap me like that's that's a ridiculous delusional thing to say for anyone um but at the same time i think we, it was it was a novel idea every engineer like when i'm making a decision i probably take i'm not joking 20 to 50 people to drinks over a couple of weeks and i'm like i'm gonna ask dumb questions and you can't make fun of me because i'm paying for your drinks but you have to give me answers because i'm trying to figure out if i'm gonna go here and at mongo it was pretty evenly split like Mongo, I think less so now, but back in the day, was weirdly polarizing. So some people were like, that's a stupid database. You're going to ruin your life. And some people were like, Mongo's great. Like, they're figuring it out. I don't know. It'll be a good experience. And I made a call based on gut, ultimately. Grafana sort of felt like I was getting punked because every single engineer I talked to was like, Grafana is amazing. I had no idea there was a commercial team behind it, um, which was kind of interesting. And then I think the final piece, right, is that there aren't a ton of companies that do things in a truly novel way. Like you're even now starting to see companies compete, like start to start on day one with the intent of competing with Snowflake. And I would have told you three years ago that that was a suicide mission. Um, but I think that's just seeing how quickly requirements change. And I thought, I truly think, you know, like obviously I'm paid to say this, but I wouldn't be here four years in and loving it like I am if I didn't mean it. I think Grafana is one of the only infrastructure companies that's really tried to solve a problem in a novel way in a really long time. Um, I think a huge part of success, ironically, in infrastructure is the go-to-market organization because there's a lot of really brilliant engineers putting out great products. And I don't, I don't think there are a ton of bad products in the market. I think for the most part, the tech out there is good. And it might not be great for every use case, but I think the go-to-market team's ability to not only compete in a highly competitive, increasingly commoditized market is important, but I also think their ability to go turn around product feedback is really important. And if you look at, I actually don't remember if I did this with one or both of you, but what is in, in your estimation the most successful application company ever? I think the Salesforce is probably the most successful application. You could say SAP, like there's a couple of possible answers, but, but what made Salesforce really novel was that they didn't try to just own all of your data out of the gate, right? They said, okay, we would love you to pay us for marketing. We'd love you to pay us for customer success. But if you're using Marketo, if you're using Zendesk, if you're using Gong, we don't care. Just plug it into us. At the end of the day, you're going to be visualizing and accessing and understanding that information via a Salesforce interface. So it became the one ring to rule them all, so to speak, not by forcing everyone to put all of their data in Salesforce, but by making Salesforce this open platform that you could plug anything into, where ultimately you were still going to live in the Salesforce interface. And I think that's a really good lesson. And I think that like a lot of why that's effective is because it's just easier if you can interact with something in a single place without having to double pay for it or like use a system you don't actually want to use. And I think in infrastructure, we've largely taken the opposite approach. And like I say that of amazing companies, right? Like Snowflake is starting to have a marketplace, but they were really the first to do it. Like Mongo, Datadog, Splunk, they all have to own your data to get for you to get value out of it. And I think Grafana's perspective that we think you should be able to plug in any data sources that are appropriate for an environment into a single visual interface is really powerful. And like, do we have backends? Yes, absolutely. Are we trying to go earn that business and compete and find requirements that make us the right fit for that? Absolutely, we are. But I have not seen a company take a more Salesforce-like approach than Grafana has. And I think for me, that really fired me up because I think most other companies in the space, and this is really not like an insult, but most other companies in the space, you could look at and go, oh, their new Splunk or their new Datadog or their new Snowflake. Um, and I don't feel like that was the case with us. And that was really appealing because I, 
I thought if we could figure out how to package that and sell it, that there was an opportunity to go do something pretty amazing. And uh, fortunately, thanks to a lot of people who were...